How you doing, Jenna? Hey, Sterling. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. The reason I was calling is because I actually think this is such an important conversation. Um, I find that one of the biggest killers in the mood, like when you're trying to set a mood, is a guy who can't, he can't really help you get there because he can't use his words effectively. Um, so one of the things, like I was the one who super chatted earlier, um, I actually do phone for a living. Um, so like I come across it a lot and I think what you're doing is so important because men don't, you're not, there's something. That's you, Lena? Ah. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, you, so you're a phone sex operator. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So I spend a lot of time listening to men's fantasy. So learning how to just kind of articulate certain things in certain ways, it, it works the same way with women. Like you were talking about it earlier, like the thing with being called daddy, we like the dominance aspect that you were talking about. We love that, but not a lot of men are comfort comfortable or confident enough to do it properly. So instead of a, so when, just from a female perspective, instead of a, a guy like yourself coming in front of me and going, I want you to take off your clothes and I want you to do it now. When you do it with your confidence, my response is going to be, yes, daddy. If somebody else does it, I'm going to be like, oh, okay. But he wouldn't um, say it. Like, and he, <laughs> and he, wouldn't, he wouldn't say it like I would, Jenna. He'd be like, uh, uh, t take your, t yeah, can, you, can, you, can you take your clothes off? He'd, yeah. he'd, have that, he'd have that hesitation in his voice. Exactly, exactly. I experience it all the time. And you would even think that when men are paying for a chance to live out their fantasy with you, that they would have a little more confidence doing it. Even in those cases, you would be surprised how little imagination the average person has yep. or the average male has. But but I really appreciate what you're offering. Thank you. Can, yeah. I, can I ask you something? I want to mm -hmm. ask you a question because I've, I've asked I've asked this question to um, to porn stars that I've interviewed before. How, if you're in bed with a man mm -hmm. and he, forget, forget even that he's not dirty talking, right? If right. he makes absolutely no noise in the bedroom, yeah. how does that make you feel? That is one of the biggest mood killers you could possibly imagine. Guys, I'm not even, if there's one thing, the same way that you guys want a response from us, we want a response from you. So a guy yep. who's like pounding away and like, you could tell that this is like his first shot at sex in a really long time. It's so <laughs> uncomfortable. Like you would be surprised how little you guys have to actually do to show us that you're interested in us sexually. So for example, there is nothing more at least for me, there's nothing sexier for me than like if you're laying on your back, he's right on top of you and he just leans into your ear and all you hear is, fuck. Yeah. That's it's, enough. This, I, this, because there are so many guys who are even shy about just moaning and groaning in the bedroom. It's, let it's let so alone uncomfortable. Taking it to dirty talk. It makes you so uncomfortable. It makes you so insecure, and and also a so lot. Can you, of say that, can you say that? Sorry to try to like half on the point, but can, it, it makes you feel insecure. Is that correct, Jenny? Yeah, yeah. because it's yes. it's. Uh, have you ever watched the show Sons of Ar Anarchy? No, I have not. There's a line in it um, that the mother says, and it's very very true. It, men want to know that you love them, and women want to know that you want them. We want to feel wanted, and. And when you don't kind of give us that response, especially since, like, they, face it, the, the majority of women, we live our lives feeling very insecure. And sex brings out most of our insecurities. That's why after a certain age, a lot of us want to have sex with the lights off because we have, <laughs> we have a lot of things going on with us. So little things, especially if you're the strong, silent type, just moaning a little something in her ear, just a little bit of... Um, just, just, just something like I've always, I personally enjoy dirty talk and I've always been good at it. That's part of how I got into what I do now, but it's amazing how little you guys communicate. And I think a lot of that bleeds into your relationship problems too.